Here's a demonstration to show charges, specifically electrons, moving in a conductor, whereas these electrons cannot move in an insulator. So I've actually got two balloons. One is a mylar balloon, and here is a latex balloon. Your mylar foil balloons are typically your designer balloons. You can tell they're foil and that they're the conductor balloon. If you look down at the bottom, they have this metallic foil end that you can see. And then, of course, this is a painted face on it. Uh, what I'm going to do is take a PVC pipe and later we'll use an acrylic or glass rod. Um, the PVC pipe works really well as something that attracts electrons from a cotton cloth. So I'm going to take this cotton cloth and uh, put my electrons on the pipe and then put it next to each balloon. Before I do that, um, you may want to try taking your balloon and just giving it a little extra electrons on the latex balloon and you can even rub the mylar balloon. This, so this is the conductive balloon. I'm going to coat that one. Okay. Then what I'm going to do, as long as that one doesn't become attracted to me too quick, is take this PVC pipe, rub it with the cotton cloth to get make it negatively charged. So this is now a negatively charged PVC pipe. And watch what happens when I hold it up to the mylar balloon. It's obviously attracted to the, my, the PVC pipe. And when I hold it up to the latex, it repels the PVC pipe, okay? Then, if we take a glass or acrylic rod and rub it with silk, the, this, in this case, this is acrylic, uh, this becomes positively charged. So the electrons on this are lost to the silk cloth. So I'm gonna rub it with a silk cloth And then I'm going to hold it up to the conducting balloon, and it's attracted, okay? Rub it again, and then I'm going to hold it up to the latex balloon. And this time, the latex balloon is attracted to the acrylic or glass rod, whatever you decide to use. Why would the positive one allow the latex to be attracted to it? Um, let's take a look at what the charge configuration looks like. The PVC pipe was negatively charged, it had an excess number of electrons, and we brought it near the conductor balloon. When we brought it near the conductor balloon, the electrons can move freely, so they move to the outside away from the PVC pipe, leaving the positive protons closer to the PVC pipe, which attracts them to the pipe. When we took the PVC pipe and brought it near the insulator balloon, those electrons cannot move, and so they repel completely away from the negatively charged PVC pipe. When we had the positively charged glass and brought it towards the conductor balloon, uh, again, these electrons can move freely, so they were brought closer to the charged glass or acrylic, in, in our case, and were attracted to it. When we took the positively charged glass and we moved it towards the insulator balloon, those electrons cannot move in an insulator and the, they are attracted to the positively charged rod. Another way to look at this as a demonstration, instead of using balloons, we can actually use soda can and a styrofoam cup. Styrofoam cup will be our insulator and the soda can will be our conductor. So again, I'm going to do the same thing. This time we're going to set them on our sides. So what we'll do is we'll set the styrofoam cup on its side. We'll rub the PVC pipe, get it charged up. Now it's negatively charged. We'll bring it close to our styrofoam. And what you see is this guy is repelling, okay? Just like the latex balloon repelled earlier. Now, if we take it, oh, we got to take it and hold it next to the soda can. Instead of repelling, oh, that one's repelling now. The soda can is actually attracted. So let me rub it again. You could even have a little race here, right? So this guy is attracted to it. That's a lot of fun. It's super simple if you don't want to get balloons. We can take the glass or acrylic rod, rub it with silk again. Let me put this one in there. And again, recall that the PVC pipe attracted the conductor balloon, just like it attracted this soda can. Um, we take the acrylic rod and we 
charge it. Notice it's attracted to the styrofoam. Okay, doesn't repel, just like the latex balloon was attracted. Um, and when we hold it up to the soda can, it's also attracted. <laughs> So now both are attracted to the rod and it's the exact same concepts of those charges.